so uh, Ruben, um, before we finish recording this episode, we have to touch on something very important, and that's the taking ownership of the listings. So yes. um, when you are a vendor, Amazon creates the listing, and anytime a listing needs a change, they are the ones who have the authority to make that change. But when you become a seller, so so that's the model that you are operating under as a vendor. But let's imagine that you started as a seller, you got brand registry, you then have full control over creating an ASIN from scratch. And then anytime you want to make updates to title, bullets, pictures, add new pictures, whatever, all it takes is a flat file or even by hand. And then your update will go through within 15 minutes, stops. But going from 1P to 3P, that's a complex situation. So walk us through how does one take full ownership of their listings once they become 3P, even though they got created by Amazon, but now they want to bring it to the same place where they submit the flat file and the updates go through. So walk us through the steps of how to achieve that. Yes, I, I wish I could say there was this one easy way to do it and things will get fixed. And unfortunately, that's not the case. Even when you do things properly, you, you, should, you, you could still see challenges when it comes to making an updates to your listings. But the proper way to do it is, again, obviously to take the full ownership of the brand and make that transition from the brand registry vendor central to the brand registry seller central. And that is going to be communication, again, back and forth with the support of the uh, within the brand registry customer support team. And that is the core essence of guaranteeing that you have that full ownership of making any changes as it would be with the standard uh, any uh, with any standard seller uh, situation uh, so when you have the brand registry when you have when, when you're one p you can still register a brand and you're part of a brand registry program there so you have to get that transition that uh, like i discussed uh, earlier uh, within your uh, account manager and then make that once you have that that all that's the part that guarantees your changes so you can submit the same flat files or do the back end changes but again, unfortunately, even with that, you still might run into issues of things not getting updated, which will require communication with the seller support team. In short, you have to make sure that your uh, brand registry is completed from 1P to 3P, and it's assigned to your brand. And you, you, you must do that, by the way, from your seller central first as well. Your brand registry support, those are uh, two, uh, both of them are crucial and once they done uh, you will be eligible to make an updates but you might still contact support for some additional changes yeah well something you said earlier and when we started the recording uh, you have to have that gigantic patience to deal with seller support because that that is usually especially in, in america customer is always the most valuable and therefore, customer service is key. And people demand quality and good customer service. And you can say, I, you know, I want to speak to your supervisor. <laughs> None of those <laughs> things, right? Um, None of those things. When you become a seller, you're going to have to deal with seller support. You're going to have to deal with account health specialists. Yeah. It's a different team. And yes. they take care of policy violations and things like that. And then also, hopefully, hopefully, you never have to deal with with them. But that's just at some point you may have to. And that's the seller performance team, where yeah. they there is like completely hands off. Your you are in Supreme trouble. Court. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's like the the, the freaking uh, Second World War. You are in the. Yeah. <laughs> in the concentration camp you have no rights no nothing i mean that's how it is unfortunately uh, and and you have to follow the procedure and do so you have to have that incredible mindset that okay follow do not react do not like uh lose your 
Remember, there's another human being sitting on the other side reading your messages. So you exploding yes. on them is not going to help your case. Uh, they, and, and, and there is a human factor. If you're sitting here and receiving 500 emails today with different requests and one other person, you know, there, there could be case rejection just so you have to have that patient treat them as another uh, human being sitting on the other side, no matter how, how frustrating the cases are going to be. And that will probably give you a better outcome. But yeah, patience is the key. And also there's not a portion of it, a lot of, a lot of time just overlook the way you contact the support and the way you put your requests as important as the problem itself. Because as, as countless time we see, we can put the same ticket to get something resolved and someone on experience can do the same. We'll get it done through right away because there's a lot of scripted task solving problems within the Amazon. If you're, if you're not within the script, you may very well get the rejection. So approaching the right way, it's also important. And yeah, yes, please have patience uh, with that. Uh, yeah. that. That's the key. Definitely.